guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, this tutorial we will see uh, how to imp import or add our shape file or area of interest to uh, Google's engine code editor then we will see uh, how to uh, import satellite image like and we will see how to export this data uh, to our Google driver so here i have written some codes in order to import the sat image and import uh, filter it by uh, our steady area and uh, with cloud cover less than five percent and uh, we'll uh, filter it for uh, specified date and then we will see how to compose the image uh, then uh, we will see uh, how to clip the image using our imported uh, shape file and finally we will see uh, how to export our image to the uh, our google drive so here are uh, the codes so our first aim is uh, adding our shape file uh, every shape file to this code uh, editor or google in google editor so here i have uh, my shape file which is uh, exported from ArcMap software and that as you can see there is uh, different extensions so i am going to add this uh, shape file to my uh, googlers code editor here so you have to import you have to open your uh, googlers engine and uh, <coughs> log into your account and uh, go to this asset rule under this you have you can add the image like geotiff image or you can add the shape files in the csv under table upload so here i am going to add this shape file so click shape file from this select uh, this select tab here direct to your uh, folder so here i have uh, saved my shape file in this folder so you can just select all these extensions then uh, press this open so here as you can see uh, there is an error while adding or importing this uh, shape file formats to the code editor so you have to exclude this uh, extension from these uh, files so as you can see uh, scbx format is not written by this code uh, google's engine code so it is not correct uh, extension so we have to uh, cancel this extension so you can come back to your file and uh, delete this uh, cbx format from your uh, folder or simply while selecting uh, in export uh, while exporting you can exclude uh, this cbx format so just select all uh, the full or the extension and and select this cbx extension then uh, easily you can uh, open or add this uh, shape file to your uh, code editor so as you can see there is no error but here i have already uh, added this shape file with similar uh, asset name so i have to give different name here so i'm going to give it urban boundary i like this urban town urban boundary then click on uh, upload then you can check here taxi center under this uh, there is new for taxis added which is up it is uh, uploading the image so uh, you have to check uh, the shape file here so it is uploading so uh, the upload is completed so to add this to your code uh, editor or the map display you have to view uh, click this view asset here uh, it shows uh, some details about the asset it has some description about the shape file and it will show you uh, the location of your shape file then you have to import this to your code editor and the place uh, 
click this import tab so here as you can see there is a new variables added which is named as table so you can rename it as you need so here i am going to rename it as uh, geometry so replace the name as geometry so this is your shape file so uh, you can rename it as area of interest or region of uh, interest so this is uh, the tutorial that shows how to import your shape file to your uh, google Earth engine code editor so uh, this is this row or this code adds uh, satellite image which is uh, satellite image so then uh, i have filtered uh, the image by my specific area of interest then for uh, cloud cover less than uh, five percent and then i have filtered the image for this specific uh, date so this will add image for uh, which cover this area with uh, less than five percent so the next uh, step is creating the composite image so you can uh, use this image in order to composite the uh, imported image then after we are going to clip the image by our area of interest or uh, geometry so you have to write this code uh, which help you to clip the image finally in order to display the image in rgb file format or in uh, color infrared or natural color so you have to write this one next in order to export your image which is clipped image to your google drive you have to write this uh, specific one you can get all this information from the google developers site so you have to give the name of the image as clipped and the description as clipped or as you need then the folder again the file name as clipped image cell size as 30 meter pixel and the CR ratio of uh, epcg and maximum pixel size so you have to give all uh, necessary inform information in order to export your image so uh, once we have written all this code you can check uh, your code by running So here, as you can see, one layer is added, which is named as uh, clipped. So our clipped image is uh, already added to our uh, code editor. You can navigate to your uh, location, or you can specify the map center and the zoom up. zoom level in code editor one. So, or you can easily go to your location. So this is my uh, steady area which is clipped image so first to display our uh, imported shape file so you have to write a code so this code will help us to add the shape file to the uh, layer or the map uh, display so this will help us the image uh, to see or the uh, shape file to see on the map so you have to rerun this uh, code again and we will get two layers the first one uh, is the shape file which is imported and the second layer is the clipped image we have uh, clipped by using our geometry here so uh, in the tax sensor also uh, the one tax is added which is the clipped image so you can uh, export this clipped image to your uh, uh, google drive so click on the run and here uh, give the name of uh, the file again uh, folder name again here uh, default file format which is GOTIF and uh, simply run uh, this code and uh, this will uh, add it to your google drive so here you can see the first one is the shape file second layer is uh, the clipped image you can minimize the transparency of the first layer in order to check the um, second layer and also you can change uh, the display of the second image or the clipped image we can adjust the uh, contrast or the display of the image here uh, this creates this custom and from this you can use different types of stretching 100 percent or two times standard division for different kind of uh, visualization 
so I'm going to use two uh, alpha or two star two sigma or two standard division this will uh, display the pure image so this is our RGB clipped image So uh, this is all about my today's tutorial. Uh, thank you for your time and then we will see you in the next uh, video. Goodbye.